What is a PPD file? So PPD means Postscript Printer Definition File. So basically this has the printer information in the file about number of trays, whether it supports colour, whether it has any finishing, like hole punching, stapling, things like that, and what media types it supports. So it's all the driver information all in a text file called a PPD file. Because it's in a PPD file, you can use it on different OS versions like Macintosh, Linux, Unix, and so on. You're not just stuck with one piece of software like what just works on Windows. So the PPD file tells the uh, OS that you're using, what type of printer it is, and what it supports. So that's what a PPD file is. If, say if I have a Work Center 6515 printer, like here, you can go and search for it on the internet. And if you search for a PPD, you'll see that it's got a tag here, PPD, which is for that printer. So when I click on download, in the installer, you'll see a PPD file for your printer. So in this case, I want the 6515. So I've opened that in Notepad. All this text information tells the OS what type of printer it is and whether it supports duplex and what type of features the printer has. So the way our printing software works, our print tonic, is that it, it loads in this PPD file and from that it populates all these boxes that it supports. So for this example, this Canon IR ADV C5535, in the paper source you've got all these different drawers. So if I go and open the PPD file for this, status printer info, I can see which PPD file it's loaded here. Click on V. So if I search down for drawer one, So you've got this input slot command for draw one. So when draw one is selected in the uh, postscript code but sent to the printer, it will actually send this command here to the printer to tell it to change to that draw one. In each draw we have a slightly different command. It's setting like duplex. If I search down this for duplex, so I can see when no duplex is set, it will set this command here. So when duplex long edge is set, it will send this command here to the printer to tell it to set to that. And then for short edge, it will send this command here for it to set. So the way Printonic works is it looks for this information and matches to what you set and inserts these commands in the postscript file at page level. Normally we just have it once at the beginner file, but in Printonic you can actually do it at page level. So you can change all the settings for each individual page if you want to, or a group of pages. So this gives you ultimate control of the printer with just one print job. So this is a pretty unique and fundamental feature of Printonic Professional, and that's how PPD files work.